Hi, my name is Jordan from Sunbridge Solar, and today I'd like to discuss some of the incentives in Washington State that are available for homeowners. We encounter a lot of questions, and uh, we wanted to address some of the main questions that most customers ask to try to get the, give them a better understanding of how the incentives work. So in this quick presentation, we're going to discuss how does it work, how much of my monthly bill will it offset, what are the incentives, and how much does it cost. So first off, the basics. We need to be speaking the same language when we're talking about solar electricity. In our home, we use energy, and let's say we have a 100 watt light bulb. Now if we run that 100 watt light bulb for one hour, that produces 100 watt hours, or uses 100 watt hours, or 0.1 kilowatt hours. Now if 10 of those light bulbs are running for one hour, that is equal to 1,000 watt hours or one kilowatt hour. The kilowatt hour is the unit of measurement that's recorded on all of our electric bills. So when we get our bills, it's measured in kilowatt hours, and that is what our solar energy systems will produce. So now how does it work? We've got the sun shining on the solar panels on our roof, and the solar panels produce DC electricity. The DC electricity is converted to AC electricity, which is what our homes use, through an inverter. And from the inverter, it goes to the main electric panel and then onto your utility meter. So some of the features of this that are important with the Washington incentive are is there's something called net metering and a production meter. For solar in Washington, you'll actually have two meters installed. A net meter can spin both directions, so on sunny days when you're producing more than you're using, your meter will be allowed to spin backwards, in effect pushing electricity onto the grid. And you'll also have a production meter, which only spins forwards measuring all of the energy that your solar energy system will produce, all of the kilowatt hours. And these, most of these systems are grid tied, meaning they only work in the presence of the grid. So here is a picture of a net meter and a production meter showing how you'll have both of these. How much will it save me on my bill? It's a difficult question to ask and one we get on the phone very often and it really depends on both the size of your system and your usage. So let's take an example. A typical home might use 10,000 kilowatt hours per year. And let's assume you install a 3 kilowatt system, which is typical for a home. 3 kilowatts is about 12 solar panels. Now 3 kilowatts, on average, would produce about 3,000 kilowatt hours per year. This is just a really rough estimate. If you have a good site with little shading, it's actually quite a bit more than that. If maybe there's some shading issues or tilt and orientation issues, it could be a little less. So at 3,000 kilowatt hours per year divided by 10,000 kilowatt hours usage is about 30%. So that's how much you would offset your bill in that case. Now let's briefly talk about the Washington incentives. First, there is a federal incentive, which is a federal tax credit. The federal tax credit is 30% of the system cost, and that's an actual tax credit. It's not a deduction. It's equivalent to, to cash, essentially. If you have uh, a $10,000 tax bill on your federal taxes and you have a $3,000 federal tax credit, you can reduce, reduce your payment to $7,000. Um, now, <clears throat> in Washington, they have what's called a production incentive, and that's where all those kilowatt hours we were talking about come into play. So what happens is all of the kilowatt hours that your system generates over a year your utility will pay you for those kilowatt hours at 54 cents. That's assuming you use made in Washington components. So here we have a sample system of 12 iTech 240 watt modules and six Blue Farg microinverters. These are both made in Washington components. An example system, 2.88 kilowatts is 12 panels. Here's a rough price estimate, $19,000. Now 30% of that is your federal tax credit, 5720. 
Now, the production of that system, you multiply it by 54 cents, and you'll get around $1,600 in year one paid back as an actual check from the utility once a year. This incentive is good until 2020, so really the best time to act is now. In year one, after year one, you will have reduced your upfront investment to around $11,500. By year eight, when you've received all the production incentives, you'll already be positive 1700 Systems in Washington have a seven to eight year payback. By year 20, once you're enjoying energy savings from your solar system, you will have accrued about $6,900 in savings in excess of your initial investment. I hope that helps clarify things a little bit for solar for homes in Washington. You can contact us at 503-407-6820. My name is Jordan Weissman. I'm a NABCEP certified installer at Sunbridge Solar. Thanks for listening.